Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can unlock any game, no matter your location on Steam. So the way this works is you're going to have to use a VPN and you can actually get access to all kinds of games, whether you're looking to access a game that's banned in your location or if it's early access or if there are specific items that are exclusive to a specific region, you can also get access to all that by using a VPN because essentially what a VPN does is that it'll make it look like you're in the country that that you've selected because you're connecting to the server that is actually in that location by renting a little space from the VPN provider to get access to this location and IP address. And so that's why my internet interprets as if I'm in Italy, not because I'm physically in Italy, but it's just because I'm connected to the VPN. Now I'll talk about these VPNs in just a minute, but essentially what you want to do to access whatever it is that you're trying to access is you want to make sure that you close steam before you use the VPN. So once you close steam completely, you can download and install one of these VPNs and you can use the links below if you'd like to save some money. But once you've downloaded one of them, you can go to locations. I'm just going to use express because that's what I like to use personally. It's got the biggest number of countries at 105 and it's super quick and easy to use. So that's why I like to use it. But let's say I want to connect to Canada, right? And to confirm that I'm indeed connected to Canada, I'll just give it a refresh right here on the IP finder. And you'll notice that I'm now in Canada. Once you're connected, what you want to do is open Steam, go to settings, and right here you want to go to downloads and make sure that you're matching the region and that is basically it now obviously a vpn is not only going to be useful to access games you can use it to access websites that are not available to you if you want to maybe grab some discounts uh, you could potentially get games that are much cheaper from other foreign markets you can stream services that are not available to you you can torn safely secure your devices so on and so forth obviously a vpn is not just for you to access games that are not available to you or banned to you. So there are lots of uses for VPNs. Now, if you're not really sure which one to go for, I personally like to use ExpressVPN, but I have used and tested these before. Express, Nord, and Surfshark, they all work really well. It just really depends on what you're looking for. Express is the easiest to use, and it's got the biggest number of countries. So I just go with Express, and it's really fast, obviously. Though NordVPN is a great choice if you don't care about 105 countries and 61 countries is enough for you, and you'd like to kind of trade that for a bunch of other bonus features that can be very useful in a variety of situations, then NordVPN is a great choice. Now, Surfshark's going to be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any of the features that you need to keep your devices secure and you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription with Surfshark so that really makes it a great choice and that's as opposed to NordVPN's six device limit and ExpressVPN's eight device limit so again it really depends on what you're looking for 105 countries with Express and you'll be able to secure up to eight devices 60 one countries with Nord and securing six devices and a hundred countries with Surfshark and you'll be able to virtually secure again an unlimited number of devices. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs you'll find links to pricing, discounts and full reviews down below. Now as far as pricing I did speak to ExpressVPN out of curiosity and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on the monthly plan than they would have with the yearly plan because it seems like most people get the monthly plan thinking they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month and they do end up using it longer than a month but they keep resetting subscribing to that monthly plan which is at a much higher rate if a month is all you need though get the monthly plan but if you know you're going to use it for longer than a month then definitely go for the yearly plan especially with the discount code below and you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you change your mind and this applies to all of the vpns i mentioned today by the way so keep that in mind besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.